is my fight prediction for Aaron De Ruiz versus Jarrell Big Baby Miller. This is going to be a very good fight. This is a fight that a lot of people have been waiting on. Andrew Ruiz has been out the ring for some time now. Um, when he takes long layoffs or somewhat of a layoff, uh, he usually comes in ready to fight. This is a guy who's um, been fighting his whole life. He knows how big of a deal this fight is. This is a career maker or breaker overall because it can, it can take him to the next level. And at the point he is in his career, he has a lot going on, you know, as far as outside the ring, inside the ring. So he's going to try to take all this anger and everything he has on his shoulders right now and put it on uh, display. I feel like he's going to do an excellent job trying to uh, make this fight be a short night. I think feel like he has a lot in the tank. He does a lot of uh, good things. He throws an excellent jab. Um, his head movement, high guard. Walking forward, I feel like that's going to be an excellent uh, strategy for him. You know, he definitely likes to be aggressive. He's not too aggressive, but at the same time, he's not going to get walked down in a fight to where he's not trading uh, punches and exchanging. I feel like Andrew Ruiz is one of the best fighters in the game when it comes to exchanging uh, punches. Now, he can get dropped if you catch him uh, being overly aggressive. He will be able to uh, get caught, but he's not an easy guy to drop, and he's not someone easy to stop as well. Uh, when he has someone that is bigger than him, as far as height and uh, size, it, it somewhat causes issues. But at the end of the day, it also gives him an advantage as far as being able to uh, punch at someone who's easy to punch. You know what I'm saying? It gives him a lot to uh, punch at. If he had someone smaller, it would probably be more difficult uh, because he's probably not used to fighting guys smaller at that weight class. But at, uh, I feel like he's going to be an excellent fighter in the inside. Uh, Big Baby Miller, he's he's a guy that's going to try to fight in the inside. He's going to try to come forward. Uh, he's going to try to throw uppercuts. He's going to try to lean on you. Um, I feel like Aaron Drew Weiss, if you can't if you can't have success early on, he should try to take Big Baby Miller in the deep waters. And um, I feel like Andrew Ruiz is a good fighter when it goes to later rounds. He really is. The stamina has to be something that's going to be looked at. Now, Andrew Ruiz, if his stamina is anything less than what it has been uh, the last couple of fights, he's going to have some trouble. Big Baby Miller is going to be very motivated. Um, he's very gracious in uh, having this opportunity again to be able to fight a guy like um, Andy Ruiz at this time in his career with the situations he's had recently and also taking that loss um, and the things he's had in the past, you know, he's trying to come out with a, a bang. And even though he did have some trouble with in the uh, fight against Daniel Dubois, I feel like he's trying to come out and redeem himself. He's trying to show people that he's not a joke and that he's someone should be taken seriously. Um, he hasn't been taken seriously recently over the years, but if you really think it, look at what he's done recently, um, he's trying to uh, redeem himself, man. He's trying to put on some big fights, have some good opportunities to where he's not being overlooked um, by what he does in the ring. Because I feel like Big Baby Miller can actually jab well. He can jab well. Um, he has a great, a great uh, right hook. He doesn't really let guys try to. Um, Come inside on him, he'll walk forward. But he's a terrible fighter when he goes on the back foot. Fighting off the back foot is not something he is able to do, especially with the stamina he has. It'll kind of uh, wear him down a lot more if somebody can actually press him, pressure him, and put him in a position where he's swinging for the fences. Um, his head movement is very bad. Um, he can be caught very easy with his head movement. But I feel like with uh, Andrew Ruiz, He's going to be able to pressure Big Man Miller uh, early and in the middle rounds. But he's going to be cautious as well. He knows that Big Man Miller still has power that can possibly put him down. Um, the power, you can be able to take Big Man Miller's power, but you can't take too many shots up, upstairs to the head if you're Andrew Ruiz. You just don't want to put that kind of uh, put yourself in that situation where you can't get hurt by a guy that big. I feel like he actually plays into the hands sometimes when he wants to trade punch for punch. It could be a situation to where he can go blow for blow like he did in the uh, Anthony Joshua fight. 
But at the same time, when you're fighting in the inside with Andrew Ruiz, he has very quick hands. He'll throw a left hook. He'll turn, dip, throw a right hook. And a lot of them, a lot of times, that punch can definitely get you out of here. So if Big Baby Miller wants to trade with a guy like Andrew Ruiz, I don't feel like he has the speed or stamina, hand speed to trade with a guy like that. He may have the power, but it won't last overall for a long time just because of what's being asked of him. It won't, it won't, it won't last long. Big Baby Miller's been out for a while now. It's going to be, what, 10 months since he fought? So he will be rusty, but he'll be a lot more fresh than what he was in the past. Because from in the past, he's basically had stamina issues. and um, But he has fought recently, more recently than he did beforehand. So that could play into his hands and help him out. And with the things he's had going on recently, he could possibly do some things that will actually help him out as far as in the fight. But I think Andrew Weeze, uh his hand speed is going to be too fast for uh, Big Baby Miller. Trying to think if it's going to be a decision or a knockout. Right now, I would lean towards a stoppage for Andrew Ruiz just because I know that Andrew Ruiz will try to go in there and make a statement. He's going to be in front of a home crowd. It's going to be loaded. It's definitely going to be something that he's going to be looking forward to. Um, the excitement and energy he's going to have behind him is going to be something he's never had before. I think that will play into the hands of a lot of things. Andrew Ruiz shows up in big fights. I don't know if everybody knows this, but he shows up in big fights. Is he a guy that gets a lot of stoppages? No, he's not. Um, not in like big fights or anything like that, even though he stopped uh, Anthony Joshua before. I would lean towards a decision. But right now, I think I would go with a 10th round KO. I think, or a um, TKO. I think I'll go with a t TKO in the 10th round. I think Andrew Weed's hand speed is going to be too fast. I think Big Baby Miller's going to try to walk into too many shots that he's not going to be able to take. It's going to be too much. It's going to be a 30-minute 30, 30 fight by the time he gets to the 10th round. And 30 minutes of taking uh, shots to the head from Andrew Weeze is going to be too much for Big Baby Miller. Um, does he have the skills to compete with uh, Andrew Weeze? Yes, he does. But will he have the skills to actually beat him? I don't think so. Um, but that's all I got. Like and subscribe.